Hi guys. I'm just getting back from downtown. I uh, went down to my local tobacco shop, my brick and mortar, and I picked myself up a, a tin of Peterson University Flake. Uh, I haven't tried this before. I also picked up a tin of Presbyterian. What I normally do is I pick up, uh, you know, whatever tin I've just run out of, or you know, I'll pick up a couple tins. And I've got a few things that stay in my regular rotation. I got Presbyterian, Samuel Gawith, Balkan Flake, and um, Robert McConnell's Oriental Mix. Those are the, the main three that, if I run out, I almost always replace it as soon as possible. And generally speaking, I, I, I at the same time that I'm replacing something, uh, I like to try something new. So what I originally had wanted to get was um, Rat Tray's Old Gallery, and they didn't have it in stock right now. So I went with University Flake. I've heard some really good things about it. And so right away getting out of the tobacco shop, I popped it open. And I was in for a really nice, pleasant surprise. Um, it's it's got a really nice smell. Now I was looking online. I have a I have a hard time distinguishing between uh, flavors and scents, and you know what it would be cased with. And I, I don't have a refined palate. Uh, when I was looking online, somebody had said that um, the casing is plum. I don't know exactly what plum smell like, but I could see it being, I could see it being plum, and it it smells so nice. They come in nice big flakes. It's one of the uh, the nicest presentations that I've seen. It's Peterson. The tobaccos they're they're just really, really really nice looking tobaccos. Really nice smelling tobaccos. The tins are nice. Everything about Peterson tobacco is top notch. Uh, great quality. So what I had done was I broke off uh, half of a flake, and I'm just going to try that out just to see how it is. I don't want to take too much. Uh, I don't know whether I like it or not, and so I'm just going to pack the bowl right now. I'm going to be smoking in my Canadian. I like this pipe. Uh, it's an estate pipe got a nice size bowl, uh, for me anyhow, most of the pipes that I have are smaller sized bowls. I've got some bent bulldogs and uh, this one here. It's got the... Uh, a nice size to it. And I was looking at it right away. I like the look of it. It's rusticated. It's got uh, you know some I don't know what you'd call it, but a little cutaway where it's not rusticated. It's still smooth and it goes all the way around. It's got the, even the rusticated rim. And I really like the look of it. And now I'm wondering what it would look like if it were you know, let's say restored or refurbished. Uh, because I had been watching. Now there's a new guy making some videos right now. And his name is Mr. Peanut 1970 or Mr. Peanut 70. I don't recall. I didn't. Uh, I didn't check it out before I came on here. And um, he had just bought a whole bunch of estate pipes. I don't remember exactly how many, but we'll we'll call it ten, about ten estate pipes. And he did like a before and after. Now they came out looking, uh, you know, they were they were nice pipes, but a little bit on the rough side. And then he went and he, you know, he refinished them, he refurbished them, and he brought them back to, uh, I imagine, you know, what they would have looked like when they were new. And it's it's really impressive to see the difference between like a nice old pipe, and then after you take uh, take some care of it, put some TLC in there, a little elbow grease. He uh, he's got some really nice looking pipes now. He did it all himself. Uh, I think you should all go go see his channel, Mr. Peanut 
1970 or Mr. Peanut 70. So, first impressions. It's not as strong as I was afraid it was going to be. Virginia's for me, I find uh, it's a very different smoking experience than, say, most of the English and Orientals. Uh, I find it harsher, stronger. It's nice. It's not too sweet. It's just a little bit of the sweetness uh, to the background. It definitely has that Virginia, uh, I don't know what you would call it, Virginia style of smoke, where it's, it's full bodied natural Virginia tobacco. Not nearly as strong as the Peterson's Irish Flake. I kind of find it similar to the three P's. Even the, the tin aroma, when I first opened this up, the University Flake that is, um, I was saying it reminds me of something, uh, the, the smell, like I've smelt this before. And I couldn't, I couldn't place it. And so I went back to, uh, to my tobacco collection and I was looking through and said, ah, three P's, of course. So I, I opened them up and smelt them side by side and they don't smell exactly the same, but they smell similar. It's got a similar type of uh, note to it. Well, I'll tell you, I'm liking this. Um, I'm not good at giving reviews. All I can pretty much say is whether I like it or not. This is very nice. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Alright, well, if you have not tried Peterson's University Flake, as far as I'm concerned, you should go out and try it. On that note, hope you all enjoy yourselves. Have a good night. Have a nice weekend. Take care. Bye bye. Bye for now. Lord of the Smoke Rings. Pipe Wizard 86 has a contest going on. It's almost over. Go look at his site. Get into the contest. Give you yourself a nice pipe. He's got the rules. Go look it up. Take care.